hello again so this is another video about odonatas and this time is a dragonfly adult very very interesting creature this is an extended form fly with a form eyes and the wings made from flesh above you can go for a classic like feather like uh, wings but I found this much better and I will show you how to tie this fly you can find the article about Odonata uh, under the video in the description and these are really amazing creatures they are here for 320 million years and they are great great creatures great hunters so if you don't know the story just check it out you will be amazed by these flies and i will show you now how to tie it first we have to make the extended body and then move back to vice for the rest of the fly for extended body i'm going to use these three sheets of foam these are two millimeters foam from jason sweden very, very good form but whatever you have whatever you can buy some closest self form and I said these are two millimeters and are just fine to have three of these it's maybe look like a, a little bit too much but it will be pressed down once it's ribbed with a thread so I find this is just fine so go for three or two millimeters or you can use two of uh, sorry three two millimeters thickness or or two three millimeters this form is pretty stiff so if you have the softer one you can go for even even bigger volume and these three colors are matching my fly my vagrant Starter, but you basically match the hatch or, or your local dragon. So, I highly recommend you to paint a real, real size uh, picture or this the sketch uh, of the fly. I'm not a good painter. I made this just open uh, on my computer screen the picture resize it to the right proportions and then I painted the outline on it and it's great uh, this is 60 millimeters the big one for vagrant darter but I mean I'm going to fish a big fly so make it big right and I will start with the top layer which is this orange and I will paint or make a sketch of the shape of the body right on the form uh, for the first one then the others will be copied and uh, I will make the the middle one the middle layer I will make a bit longer to make this kind of tag uh, the flies have here so just quickly don't worry about it it is something like this and now it is really conic here the thorax but I not recommend you the the cut the form in this shape because if this is wide it will push the push down your uh, your wings while I'm tying them on the top of the hook so I make this n narrow like uh, this and I will shape the thorax with the with the dubbin. So I'm going here back to the kind of narrow shape 
Now take a really sharp knife. This one is Olfa, well-known brand, design knife. And cut it. And I found it to cut it in one smooth stroke. It's much better. Okay, uh, our first layer, we will see that the really sharp, I just uh, picked the new new one, uh, really sharp knife, will much, uh, much, will be much easier to use. So this is our top layer and I will do the, the down, which is this gray and I will do the, sa the same, I, I just fix here. And make really the same here. So I doing this. I'm not. I'm not sure you can see it. I place it on on it and get the same. Okay, no, no perfect, but not so bad. Uh, I will just slightly improve this. Okay, and for the middle middle part, the yellow one here. Oh, sorry, and I will make a, a bit longer in tip, just a bit. And I will also first cut the, the one side, make it a bit longer. And now it's good to make it also a bit wider. Otherwise, it will disappear when you when you when you tie it together. It can disappear because this is on the sides will cover it. So go for a bit wider, like maybe two millimeters more on side. Okay, no perfect. I made it better uh, some before, but it just just fine. You get the uh, the idea. And we will now tie all these three pieces together on a needle. So we back on our wise. What I forget to say at the beginning, I try what I try and imitate here is a Simpetrum vulgatum, otherwise known as a uh, Vega and Darda. And it's also very similar to the common data, which is just a bit smaller, as far as I remember. And 
this is more like female because the males are almost red in color so let's go to put together our extended body for this I'm using needle put in a vise and you're going to need some strong thread I'm using yellow Dynama you can use the Viva's GSP plus is so basically Dynama fiber or some other strong thread tie in a thread and just make a re really little thread base not, not really thread base just use the thread there and I'm going to tie these three layers for first I'm going to tie in the belly the gray one and just fix tie in the, the tip here now the yellow middle section uh, we made a bit longer so don't forget this and tie in and the top one the, the orange one Kočičko! Přestaň! Kš! So we have our three here and we will make tie together and make a segmentation kind of so take it all here and maybe make a more thread wraps here because I didn't make the really tough the strong one and I will just secure it a bit okay and now keep them together and we go in with our thread to next segment make a first wrap and I'm going crossing to next segment always on uh, on top of the body but it really doesn't matter okay one more once more and I'm making like five five and move to the next one
Okay, we're going good. Just here it's a bit, it should be longer. It's not matching here the middle section, but I will, I will cut it later. Five wraps and K okay, five. Yep, and we can leave it here or maybe one more. No, I will leave it here. It's fine. I will. I will just uh, secure the thread. and do a kind of finish you can leave it longer and tie in on the hook you can do this also with a start uh, with the beginning of thread and then you can uh, pull it here and you can bend the, uh, the extended body a bit. I will just uh, add a bit more super glue and this thread in here. Okay. Now we can remove the body from the needle. So, our body is ready. As you can see, I have all these crossed on top if you want them on the bottom part. That's on you. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't match these so. But yeah, right. I will I will cut this anyway because the the middle section will be tied in wall, so I will trim it here, and it's fine. Lucky for me. So that's our body. I like it, and let's uh, move on uh, for the next step. Okay, for hook. I'm using Maruto S74, S74, size 8, just uh, remove the barb and these are, this is the, this kind of uh, special banded hook. I think uh, it's not a good idea to bend the, the straight hooks because they will, they will be much weaker. Uh, if you don't have this kind of hook, Use some white gap hook and you will be fine. The thread the same, yellow dynamo, tying the thread and this time really make a thread base. But uh, a super glue on. If you don't know, this super glue is a zapper gap brush on with a brush, and it's a medium cyanoacrylate. You can buy uh, this in a, in some RC shop where they have mo models. And yeah, um, okay, I forget this I will go with a hook through the the gray liar in here it's not easy now so sorry I want to show you this but you get you get it right uh, just oh 
like this and put it back. I have the super glue here, very good, very good. Uh, put it back. like this and tie this in be hard make a tight thread wraps and <clears throat> sorry and trim trim these ends and secure it really well okay I'm fine um, what's next the, the body we should shape some kind of thorax and for this I'm using Another piece of foam, just cut the, the strip of foam, tie it in. And start to wrap in this. Secure it. Okay. Maybe a bit more. Go back. And secure. And I will trim it. We, we will cover this with a dubbing, so don't worry about it. Just make some underbody. For the dubbin, I'm using CDC dubbin. Blue down. Take a bunch of these and put it on thread. And up a, like a, like a half of the body okay a bit more just a bit more now we go in for wings and legs and for legs I'm using this which is some kind of rubber legs this is called Centipede Lex Small Speckle 10 from Vanyard but whatever you have they should be black on this this uh, Vager Dada but I like this more it's more lifelike for me so I'm using even these they have, of course, uh, eight legs, but I will, once again, I will tie in just uh, six of them. I think it's just fine. So I take three pieces of this, long enough, I will cut them later and time them down here easily just like this I will split them a bit more with the uh, with the uh, dubbing later but uh, maybe they should be more more in front they are really just near, uh, near to head 
Okay, I will, I will move them. To be more correct here, right? Okay. That's fine. And now the wings, you can use some feathers, of course, a classic one, but I really like this. And this Vega and Darda have transparent wings. So I'm using transparent and this is a flesha bow, the Hedron flesha bow, some fine one. I will find the name, exact color and I will put it down to the description. For 60 millimeters fly, it's about 100 or 120 millimeters wings. Just for to get idea how long they should be. So take a long enough bunch. And tie them in the middle. Okay, I, I should go first for wings, right? Uh, always forget this, but... Do this cross thread wraps. Again, be hard on this because we don't want to lose it. Even we will be fixed with a super glue. Take your time to the step for the step and yeah. I see I moved the legs. I, I should really first tie in the I can fix it. Uh, first tie the wing. Don't follow me, right? Uh, do it better way. So I said the super glue. A big drop here on a cross. And I'm continue. I will show you how it looks now like this. Unfortunately, don't have the rotary vise. And I'm going to continue with dubbing the CDC dubbing around these wings and around the legs. Okay, and now, <coughs> sorry, uh, I will make a bit more thread base here in front for our eyes. Now I will tie in this last piece of foam Okay, come on. Uh, yep. In here.
Again, be strong on thread, hard on thread. So our fly will last. And four eyes, a foam. Also, a foam cylinders, booby eyes is called in this, this version. And it's uh, six millimeters. Yeah, some brown. I will, or you can uh, glue there the these epoxy eyes, some kind of epoxy eyes. But it's it's maybe just look better for fly fisher than the fish really. It's more cute. So take uh, take the a piece of foam. And take it longer than you need, and we will cut the eyes once it's tied in. And I will put under also a drop of super glue. Okay, I, I would like to. Okay, I will. I will uh, fix my legs and wings back. Uh, I'm using a piece of lead wire. Just make some space for me here. Oh, come on. Just keep them back like this. You can use some clip if you know it from the the pike fly tying. So take the the foam cylinder, tie in again with a cross thread wraps and hard tight also. Take your time in this step. And I will cut them right now. Now I will show you how it's a bit long. So I will cut it a bit. Okay, uh, now let's look like this, a shorter, and we will take this last piece, and unfortunately it's a bit short, so I will take a plier, and I hope I will be able Take it back here. And secure it. Okay, now it's... Uh, can move here a bit. And trim. Trim the rest. And finish the fly. If you have some space under here on behind the eye, 
do it there. Okay. Remove this and it's done almost uh, our from the thread I will also now cut these wings so I made them a bit long I just uh, oh oh uh, just just a bit here a bit here and a bit here okay now the last thing are the epoxy eyes if you want uh, put them on I just recommend you to remove the the glue uh, which is on on them and stick them with a super glue. So this is my version of the vagrant darter. You can imagine the different colors and different sizes and cover all these Odonates adults. So this is it, next time I will tie a floating dragon fly name, which is great fly on still waters from the hair. And hope you guys like this fly. Even if it's not the regular food for trout, usually it can really rice some big fish and in, in some exploded fries and can give you a really nice moment, will be remembered for years. I will show you how this is looks on water and that's all for today. Thank you for watching Fly Fisherman's. Bye.